Hey YouTubers, if you guys enjoyed this video, please show me some love by hitting that subscribe button and that like button, and leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys think of this video. Thanks for watching. Good morning, YouTubers. T Square with T Square Talk. So today we are going to do up some country style ribs. Um, nothing says delicious like some ribs. So I got me a pack of ribs. I actually pulled them out of the fridge, got them broken out. Um, about ready to throw them in the pan. I want to show you guys kind of my process, what I do. These are super easy to cook. I just preheated my oven right now. I'm getting it preheated to 400 degrees. I'm gonna... Okay, so all you're going to need is some ribs. You're going to need a pan, just depending on the type of pan you have. Um, I've got two. I've got a regular pan. Um, that I'm going to do some in and I also have a glass one that I'm going to do some also in um, The reason I'm doing them separately is I'm doing a couple different recipes um, Some people don't like onions. Some people do like onions. I Kind of like onions. I'll put an onion at the bottom kind of cut it up use it to kind of lay it over um, Lay the ribs over and then you're gonna need your favorite seasoning. So this is super easy So let's get this onion chopped up and let's get them put in the pan and see how they come out Okay, so there you have it. Um, onions all cut up. Um, nice bed of onions. I didn't want to waste your time sitting here, you watching me cut them all up. Plus, some of y'all would have been like, is that dude using a plate as a cutting board? I, I do sometimes. It's quick. It, you know, I don't have to dirty a big cutting board for some onions. Um, so I got that. I got an empty one for the people that don't like onions. I got my big old thing of ribs, so let's get them laid on there. Okay. So now comes the seasoning part. Everybody is going to have a different taste when it comes to seasoning, and there's no wrong way. I used to do these with just salt and pepper. As I became a little bit more accustomed to different seasonings, different spices, the more I got cooking, the more I wanted um, better and better spices. So I'm going to be maybe going a little bit more... Um, with different stuff, but I'm going to start out with my basic salt and pepper. So my salt, I'm using pink Himalayan salt. It's it's actually jarred myself, but I'm not really using a whole lot. Just kind of getting it in there. I will uh, put it on both sides. So I got some pink Himalayan salt. I'm going to use a little bit of garlic salt. I love garlic. I love garlic flavor. Um, so I'm going to put some of that on there. You don't really need a, a ton. You want to make sure though you do get both sides. Um, that way it kind of carries through, but here's the thing. I'm going to cover these. So when you cover them, that season's kind of going to spread all the way through. Um, I'm also using a smoked pepper. However, I'm only using smoked pepper because it was on sale. It was on clearance. Any kind of black pepper though works great. Um, you can just fresh ground, regular, whatever's on the sale. You know, I'm not really, uh, you don't have to be specific to, what kind you know so i i say that because it's going to come out great no matter what this is something it was actually on sale at ross so this was 3.99 um but it's really good it actually has uh smoked chilies and uh some other goodies in there smoked chilies sea salt um it's pretty good so we're gonna ground some of that on there now this takes a little longer because i am fresh grounding it um, I know I said grounding, uh, fresh grinding it. Um, so we'll get some of that on there. Make sure you hit both sides. I will flip all these over after. And then I'm going to use, now I'm putting a little bit more stuff. I'm putting on some uh, basil. A little bit. You don't need a ton. Um, but it does help with the flavor. And any, any kind of spices you like will work so don't think a little bit of rosemary i put a little rosemary i hate to say it on almost everything um i love rosemary bam now some places will even sell pre-made um 
spices like for pork ribs. So if you don't feel comfortable picking your own spices, you know, you can just get one of them pre-made spices. And then I'm putting some thyme. Thyme is another one that goes good on almost everything. Okay, so there we go. So I'm going to do that now. I got my oven preheated at 400. I'm going to put these in for two hours. I am going to cover them with aluminum foil uh, once I flip them over and hit the other side with some seasoning. This is going to be really good, guys. You're going to love this. So definitely try this out, and we'll be back in a little bit and see how they're coming out. So make sure you cover them. I, I don't know. I guess I should kind of show. Some people will miss that. They'll kind of be watching it. Maybe not really. They'll have it in the back burner. But once you do season them, cover them up. So we'll be right back in a minute once I get these all seasoned all the way around. Okay, so I just got them all flipped. Now I'm going to end up switching up, put the spices all back through again. Bam. So now I got both sides. Now I'm going to end up covering this up. And all I'm doing when I cover this up is keeping my heat and my moisture in. What I don't want is dried ribs. Nothing worse than dried ribs. Um, so let's get them in there. Um, we got it set to 400. I'm going to put these ones in, and then we'll wrap up this one and do the same thing. So this is going to be delicious. Um, I kind of can't wait to do this. I may shorten this video up a little bit so you don't have to see all of the, uh, too much of the detail. Nobody wants to watch long, long videos on how to do something. They just want to get to the point, learn it quick, bam. Now I'm going to put those in, and we will come back and see what they look like in two hours. Two hours at 400. We'll be back. Okay, so I just had them in for two hours now, about two hours and five minutes. I took a phone call, so. Um, but let's pop these babies and see what they look. Oh, my word, those look delicious already. Mmm, they smell so good, too. Ooh, whoa. You can see the steam coming up off them. Do those not look delicious? So what I'm going to do now, I'm actually going to put them back in in a few minutes. But what I want to do, I want to put some barbecue sauce on right now. Now when you put barbecue sauce, barbecue sauce has a tendency to burn. So what you don't want to do is have them burn um, at the last minute. So you want to keep an eye on them. Shouldn't need more than 10 minutes to just kind of caramelize the barbecue sauce a little bit on there. So I'm going to put some barbecue sauce. I'm just using a... Craft sweet brown sugar barbecue sauce today. I happen to have it in my pantry. Um, so that's what I'm going to put on here. This is going to be delicious. Spoon. All so. I'm going to do is spoon on the barbecue sauce. And what I want you to see though beforehand is look how these just fall off the bone. Literally, look. I cut them with a spoon. See that? How good that looks. Now you're going to see a lot of grease in there. That does happen when you cook ribs. Um, ribs are a greasier food. Um, you can strain it, drain it down just a little bit if you want to take some of that grease out right now. I'm not going to bother just because um, it'll come off after anyway when I pull them out. Um, but, so first thing, let me pop this baby open, get some of the sauce on there, and kind of get it moved around on there. So... Ooh wee These are going to look delicious. So, kind of get it all smoothed on here. Bam. This will kind of caramelize all nice. Kind of bake in there nice too. Really have a good going to give a lot of good flavor because the meat already has some good flavor but you want that kind of sweetness that the barbecue sauce is going to add to it and now when you put this back in you don't have to cover this up so i'm not going to be covering this up i'm going to put it back in the oven just like this and it's only going to be in for about 10 15 minutes tops so let me put this back in and pull out the other one Okay, so I just got the other one out, took the top off. You can see, same case with these. I can pretty well cut them with a spoon. As you can see, it goes all the way through with ease. So now I'm going to end up doing the same thing with this one, put some barbecue sauce on them. These things are literally going to fall right apart when you first put these on a plate. So you want to be careful. If you want it to have a wow factor, you want it to look real pretty, um... And definitely uh, use like a spatula or something when you take them out. Um, that way you kind of keep that 
beautiful look it's not looking like a, a shredded pork because um, you don't want it falling apart just right off the bat so wow these are going to be delicious so super easy pull them out and i'm going to put this back in about 10 or 15 minutes like i said so let's get these back in and we'll be right back Okay, so I just pulled them out of the oven, spent 10 minutes with the sauce on. Now I'm going to get these things plated up, and I'm going to show you what the finished product look at, looks like. If you think these look delicious now, wait until they're on a plate. I'm going to show you another trick that's just going to make these the bomb. So we'll be right back. Bam, there you have it. Ready to serve up. It looks absolutely delicious. Um, these things are the bomb and they are to die for. I like to top them with a little bit of green onions. Reason being green onions adds that little bit of color, that little bit of flair that everybody looks and they just instantly say, oh wow. I mean, and literally, check this out. So I'm going to end up cutting this actually just to show you guys. I'm going to cut this with a spoon. Look at that. Bam. Bam. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up button for me. Hit that like. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys think. I'm going to chow down on these. I'm starving. Um, and I hope to see you guys again on some of our other great videos. Thanks for watching, guys. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.